Hello guys, welcome back to Archeonix. So today's video is for Entok and other scooter owners in the similar category. Let's make an automatic boot opening system which allows you to open the boot with the click of a button. Also add an auto tank cap opening facility with inbuilt safety feature that auto shuts off your engine if your tank lid is open and indicates the same and also ensures that the engine won't start without closing the tank. Let me show you a demo by keeping the engine start. You can see the engine shuts off and the blinking red light indicates that the tank is open. This is India's first feature that was ever built and let's see how to make the same in this video. This is an electronic blinker from Minda which I purchased from Amazon. I'll be leaving all the links to buy the parts that you see in this video in the description. After opening the blinker, I disconnected the buzzer and the wiring from the connector. This is the buzzer that I removed and if you want the blinking lights, you can keep the buzzer intact. Now you have to solder a red wire to the positive terminal which goes to the positive input and a black wire to the load or the positive output. Once you solder everything, in order to keep everything watertight, I am using a hot glue here to cover the entire board. You can use silicone too for this purpose. Good news for Entoc users, TBS officially sells the automatic boot opening kit in the TBS website. I will be leaving the purchase link in the description below. This is how the packaging looks which I received from TBS. If you try to purchase this from a showroom or a service center, it might not be available. As this is a kit that has been officially sold in the TBS website only. Once you open the package, you will be getting 3 different units. One the hydraulic system itself and the two clamps of which one will go to the inner part of your boot and other to the seat itself. The smaller clamp will go to the seat and the longer clamp will go to the inner boot. I'll be showing the installation of this automated boot system first before actually automating the entire unit. Now let's start the installation process. Open your boot and undo the two 10mm inner bolts as shown in the video. Now install the two bolts along with the washer to the longer clamp and install the entire unit back to its place. Now remove the two nuts holding the seat unit. Pull and open the beading that is there around the seat. Once you remove it, install the other clamp and secure it using the same nut that you removed before. Now installing the hydraulic unit is pretty simple, just ensure that you keep the male end below and the female end at the top, just press it down and it will lock it in place. Once you complete the installation, just by turning the key, your boot opens up automatically. Now let's get to the automation part. I will be showing you the tank automation first as it is the most difficult one. Start by removing the 4 10mm bolts holding the entire boot down. Disconnect the two connectors which goes to the boot lights and the magnetic switch sensor. Then remove the entire boot out of your bike. Next 
remove the two 12 mm bolts holding the gram handle. Once you remove both the bolts, remove the grab handle out of your bike. Now remove two screws holding the tank panel cover. Next open the tank lid and insert a cloth or a plastic cover into the tank to avoid dropping screws accidentally. Now remove the three screws holding the tank lid unit. Slide the tank panel and disconnect the cable and move the tank lid out of the bike. As you can see, this is the metal lock that I have removed from the tank cap unit. I have drilled a hole into it so that I can insert old Activa's boot cable into it. After ensuring that you can insert the cable entirely, let's get to the assembly part. Insert the metal piece into the tank cap assembly as shown in the video. Ensure that the entire unit moves freely without any friction. Next, insert the spring that you removed before. After inserting the spring, put back the metal cover and secure it with the two screws that you removed. Do not forget to insert the washers as this is a cut washer which will ensure that a screw doesn't come out even due to vibrations. Ensure that the entire unit is working properly by pulling the cable and making sure that there is no friction and also the entire unit moves back to the original position freely. In order to get signals if the tank is open, I am using a NS200 sideshine sensor which is also a magnetic switch sensor from Bajaj. I have used two horn clamps and bend it in such a way that it can reach near the tank cap as shown in the video. Depending on the clamps that you get, you might have to bend and adjust as per requirement. Now behind the tank cap, you can see I have glued a magnet which will come near to the sensor when the tank is closed. Now in order to make some clearance, you need to cut this extra plastic from your tank cover assembly. If you don't cut this piece, you will not have enough clearance to close the entire panel down as this plastic piece will touch the clamps that you bent and secured. Now insert the tank cap assembly into the panel and connect the old stock cable as shown in the video. Now since you have two cables coming through the same unit, secure both the cables using a zip tag and tighten it thoroughly. Pull the Activa's cable and check whether the tank cap lock is working properly. Insert all the panels back and route the cable and secure everything as you removed before. Now in order to check whether the sensor is working properly, what I have done here is, I have taken a buzzer and connected the positive wire to one of the wire of the sensor and I have connected the negative wire of the buzzer to the battery, the one left out wire from the sensor I have connected to the positive terminal of the battery. By doing this, you can check whether you have installed the sensor properly.
Now I'll be showing the wiring through animation as it is easier to understand. The key indicates the positive supply after turning on the ignition. You should connect the positive of the ignition to one of the terminal of the switch. Now the output terminal of the switch will go to the actuator's positive. Also connect the output positive to the light's positive terminal in the switch. Now the remaining one wire from the actuator has to be grounded. Also ground the negative wire of the switch for the indication light. So now when you press the switch, the actuator engages and disengages automatically. We'll be using this actuator for opening the boot and this is very easy to do. Now let's see how to do an automation for the tank cap. This is another switch with a red indication light. And this is the blinker unit that I showed in the starting of the video. Now we'll be also needing a 12 volt 4 pin relay and the magnetic sensor from NS200. Now this is a representation of whether the tank is open or close. And this is an actuator. Now let's get to the wiring. Connect the positive wire of the LED indication to the blinker's load wire and connect the ignition positive to one of the terminal of the switch. Now as like before, connect other terminal of the switch to the actuator positive. Now same as before, ground the other wire from the actuator. Now you will need a new positive ignition line to the side stand sensor. The other wire of the side stand sensor has to be connected to the solenoids one of the terminal to the relay. And also the same line has to be connected to the blinker unit's positive input. Now ground the negative terminal of the LED indication light and also ground the solenoids negative in the relay. Now from your kill switch, there will be two wires which has to be connected to the relay's other two terminals. Now if the tank cap is in open position, the red indication blinks and it doesn't allow your bike to start. Or if your bike is in the start position, it automatically shuts down the engine. Now clicking the button will engage the actuator which will open the tank and the cycle continues. This is the overview of the actuator that I mounted on Ntorque and I have used a stainless steel clamp which you can get from any hardware store. I have used a couple of zip tags to hold the cable which is connected to the actuator and also to the chassis. And this is the second actuator which I have used to open the boot. And you can see how I have connected the actuator to the chassis how the cable has been connected to the boot lock. Once everything is wired up properly, close all the panels that you removed, install the boot back and secure everything in place. Now let me again show you how this thing work. This button is used to open the tank cap and this one to open the boot. Now in the ignition off state, these two buttons doesn't respond as we have connected all the lines to work in the ignition on position. Now let me turn on the ignition as you can see, now the bike is on and now if you press this button, the boot opens automatically. Now by clicking the other button, the tank cap opens automatically and also the red light keeps blinking indicating that the tank is open. In this state, the system doesn't allow the engine to turn on and if you accidentally click this button while you are riding, the engine shuts off automatically. I hope this video was informative enough. If you people like the content that I make, please consider subscribing to my channel as many of you haven't subscribed. Stay tuned for more such interesting contents coming soon.